Good morning, Veritas scientists. Today is May 20th, 2020. Today we are learning about Earth's moon. So we're going to learn a little bit about the moon and how it interacts with Earth, just like yesterday's question asked you to think about. All right, so we're going to go over some vocabulary first. You're going to need to know these words. You probably know what these things are, but you might not know the exact definition. So that's why we're going to go over what exactly do these words mean. Okay, so we'll start with planet. And I bet every one of you knows what a planet is, but let's find the actual definition. So planet is a noun, it's a thing, right? A planet is a large sphere, which is just a 3D circle, right? It's a ball, sphere, like this, 3D, okay? So it's a large sphere that orbits a star. It revolves around a star, okay? So a planet, if this is a star, a planet orbits or revolves around the star. Okay? We'll learn more about that in a minute. So here's an example of planet. The planet Earth revolves or orbits around the sun, which is a star. So the sun is actually a star. We're going to talk more about that in a minute. So let's find out what a star is and why the sun matches the definition of a star. So second word, star, is a noun. It's a thing. A star is a huge ball of very hot gas that gives off energy and light. So the sun up in the sky that we see is a giant ball of very, very, very hot gas. This is going to represent our star today, which is our sun. Um, it gives off energy, it gives off heat, and it gives off light energy as well. And we know that because the sun is hot and it gives off light. Okay, so here's an example. The sun is a star because it gives off heat and light energy. So all the stars that we see up in the sky, those are really, really, really far away, but they are suns, right? So the sun is a star, but the stars are just so, so far away that we don't see them. Our star in our solar system, we call the sun, okay? So the sun is a star, all right? And now let's move on to the word moon. A moon is a noun. It's a thing. It's a satellite or object that orbits slash revolves around another object in space. So for example, the Earth's moon orbits around the Earth about once per month. So a moon, we're going to have the purple smiley face ball be the moon, right? That's the man on the moon that we can see. Um, the moon is an object that orbits around another object in space. The other object for us is our planet, Earth. The moon orbits around the Earth. Okay, so the Earth orbits or revolves around the sun, and at the same time, the moon orbits or revolves around the Earth. So it kind of goes like this, while this goes like this, and they're both, this, the planet is revolving or orbiting around the sun and at the same time the moon is revolving or orbiting around the earth all right that happens about once a month when the moon goes all the way around the earth it takes a whole month for the moon to go around the earth once all right it takes a whole year for the earth to go around the sun once it takes a long time okay but about once a month for the moon to orbit our planet all right, one more piece of information that's really important is that planets do not give off light. They reflect the sun's light. So sometimes at night you look up and you can see the planet Venus. It just looks like a star to us, right? A bright star. It doesn't have its own light. Planets don't give off their own light. They reflect the light from the star, which is our sun. Okay, same thing with the moons. Moons do not give off light. They reflect the sun's light. So when we look up at the moon at night and we see the moon, right, it looks like it's giving off light. It is not giving off its own light. What we see is the reflection of the sun's light shining on the moon. All right, and we're going to get to more of that for your question for today. Okay, so let's see. We're going to go to yesterday's questions now, question now. It's moon's interaction with Earth. So here was your question from yesterday. It says, while the Earth rotates around its axis, it also revolves around the sun. So as the Earth rotates, it spins on its axis. As it is spinning, like a basketball, it also revolves around the sun. So it spins like this, 
takes one day to spin around. It takes 365 days or one year to go all the way and revolve around the sun. So it's rotating and revolving around the sun at the same time. All right. Now I said using today's vocabulary, what words can you use to can you use to describe the way the moon interacts with the earth? And yesterday's vocabulary were rotate, axis, and revolve. Okay. So let's talk about how the moon interacts with the earth. So here is my earth. And here is my moon. This is the man on the moon. So notice whenever you can see the full moon, you see the man on the moon every time. The reason is because that is the side of the moon that always faces us. So it rotates, but it rotates very slowly. It takes a whole month for it to spin around once. And that face, the same side of the moon, is always facing Earth. Even if we can't always see parts of it, we're going to talk more about that tomorrow, why we see different parts of the moon at different times of the month, like a full moon or a crescent moon or a gibbous moon. We're going to talk about why we have those different shapes of the moon. But always, every time it orbits or rotates, revolves around our planet the same side is facing us so we always have that side facing us like this okay where well, that's not true about the sun about the earth going around the sun every day it spins and all the sides of our earth face the sun at some point every day right but that's not true about the moon the moon goes like this it's stuck in our gravity field and it just stays the same distance around us and just goes around with facing us the same way all the time like that, all right? It revolves or orbits around the Earth, okay? So let's see if I'm missing anything. So let's try to do kind of this whole thing here. I only have one hand because my other hand is holding my camera right now. So the sun, planet Earth, and the moon, okay? So while Earth is rotating, spinning, it's also revolving around the sun, right? So it takes a whole year. It spins once a day. Every day it spins around once. That's why we have day and night, like we talked about yesterday. It takes a whole year for it to go all the way around the sun. At the same time, it takes a month for the moon to go around the earth. So if the earth does some spinning every day, it takes about 28 or 29 days for the moon to revolve all the way around the earth like this all right so that's the way that the earth the moon interacts with the earth so the reason that this happens the reason that we have these orbits or the reason why this planet orbits around the sun is because the gravity of the sun is huge there is so much gravity on the sun so 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 much more than there is on earth so the sun is huge and it has so much gravity so that gravity keeps the planets. Oh, there goes my planet. Uh, luckily, I have another one. The gravity keeps the planets kind of stuck in the same path, and they follow the same orbit, which is the path that they follow around the sun. So it has to do with the, the sun's gravity is pulling it towards us at the same amount all the time, right? So it stays at the same distance around or goes around the same track all the time, right? In the summer, it's closer to the sun, and in the winter, it's further from the sun, but it always follows the same track around as it orbits the sun, okay? Same thing with the moon. It has the same track. It just follows all the way around the Earth, okay? So that is because of the Earth's gravity, right? The Earth's gravity is pulling the moon to a certain point and it, the gravity keeps it that distance and it follows that same track all the time and it's like a satellite it just revolves around our planet okay so here's your question for tomorrow or for today and we're going to go over it tomorrow it says there are eight phases of the moon meaning it can have eight different shapes throughout the month all right sometimes it's a full moon it looks like that sometimes it's a crescent moon it looks like that Sometimes it's a crescent moon that goes the other way like that. Sometimes it's like what we look at. It looks like half a moon, but it's really called a quarter moon. And we'll talk more about that tomorrow. And sometimes it's like 
not a full whole moon, right? But it's a little bit less than that, kind of like this. It's more than half, but less than the whole, right? Now sometimes it looks kind of like this. So there's eight different shapes that it can have throughout the month. The eight moon phases always go in the same order. So it, this isn't the right order. I was just giving you examples. I'll show you the order tomorrow. It always goes in the same order. So why do these shapes of the moon always go in the same order and what causes them? So here's the question. What causes the different moon phases? Why are there full moons? Why are there crescent moons? And why are there quarter moons and gibbous moons? Why are there different shapes to the moon if the moon does not give off its own light? Because that's what we learned earlier. It does not give off its own light. So here's your question for tomorrow. What causes the different moon phases? And that will be tomorrow's lesson. Charlie's sleeping over here, lazy boy. Hope you guys have a good day. Got my Veritas hat on. Take care now. See you tomorrow.